I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Today I have a quilting video or a bit of a quilty chat to share with you. I thought maybe once a month I could record a video and share some of the projects I'm working on, some of the plans I have for future quilts and that sort of thing. Now before I get right in it, I thought I'd talk to you about what I'm wearing today. This is Me Made. This is the Hug Hoodie by Made It Patterns. I Let me get up and show you. So I just cut my head off. So I made this in the fall, I think, with a, a great uh, interlock fabric from Fabric, fabric Snob here in Canada and lined it with a cotton jersey uh, fabric in bright, bright pink. I love this hoodie super comfortable the arms or sleeves are extra long which i love when it's really really cold very simple to put together raglan sleeve but i love the little crossover detail in the front i'm going to make this again definitely and next time i'm going to lengthen it just by a bit because when it's really really cold you definitely want the tummy to be covered up so yeah so that's what i'm wearing today i'll put a link in the description to the pattern from Made It Patterns. All right, so for those of you who don't know, um, I've been quilting since about 2009, I think. Um, we owned a little cottage right near the US border. It was literally five minutes away from the US border. And after we purchased the little house, I wanted to make curtains for the house and traveled to the US to go to Joanne's, which was about 20 minutes away to buy fabric. And when I walked into Joanne's, right near the door, they were selling little kits to make quilts. So it had all the fabric you would need to make the top, the fabric for the backing. And these were like small, small quilts, like baby quilts. And I figured, ah, oh, why not? That was, might be something fun and new to, to try. So I uh, bought a kit and you know, you know what they say, never looked back, basically. I've been quilting since then. Um, I love to make quilts for new babies, um, new houses, um, or just simply when people need a hug. There's absolutely nothing better than a handmade um, quilt when you need to be, you know, surrounded by some love and some good vibes. So yeah, so that's a little bit about me and quilting. And I really only got into garment sewing um, recently. So for the better part of my sewing career, I've been making quilts. So what have I been doing in January with my quilting or as far as quilting projects? Well, the first thing I did was a baby quilt for my boss's new granddaughter. Now, um, this is my boss's first grandbaby and she is so excited and cannot wait. And actually the baby's due in February. So I had to get this done in January. I used a pattern called Pretty in Pluses by From Bolt to Beauty. And this was so much fun to put together. I mean, it's not um, a difficult sew at all, but it really is a great pattern if you've got beautiful, beautiful prints that you'd love to showcase. All of the fabrics were from my stash, which is amazing. And uh, yeah, so that was project number one in January and that's all been wrapped and ready to go. So very happy with that one. Another finish I had in January were two small table toppers for our living room. So we bought new living room furniture um, in December and to protect the new end tables, I decided to make new table toppers. The pattern I used is called One-Eyed Monsters and it's in the book, Just One Charm Quilt uh, by uh, Cheryl Bricky. Now, I actually got the book for free because I tested one of the patterns, but those patterns are so amazing. They're, they're yeah, so so much fun to, to put together. Uh, you can make them from just one charm pack or from scraps or, you know, from anything, really. Um, I used all solids except for the orange prints in, in my One-Eyed Monsters. And everything, again, was from a stash. So really proud of myself. Two projects in January where I used nothing but fabric I already owned. Next, and you can see 
what's next right here next to me. I, I want to make, and this was in my make nine, so I want to make a queen size quilt for my son who moved into a new apartment almost two years ago now, so I'm a little late to the game, but I finally ordered and received the fabrics I'm going to use for his quilt, um, and it's going to be amazing. Like, check out these blues. So this is going to be the background, and then the blocks are all going to be pieced with these gorgeous blues. I'm using the Pulsar pattern by Quilting Jet Girl. Um, I've made that pattern before in a baby size, so um, it'll be my first time making a really big quilt out of that pattern, but I can't, I cannot wait. This is going to be amazing. I'm really, really happy. Um, the plan is to at least do all of the cutting in February. Um, yeah, and maybe even start piecing. So that's, that's the plan for this stack of pretties. And finally, the last little thing I want to talk to you about is a quilt along that I've been uh, participating in. So Quilting Jet Girl uh, has a quilt along every year. It's an annual thing that she does. Um, and I've been participating for at least maybe three or four years now. And this year's quilt along is called Plan View. And we just received the piecing instructions number one. So um, I took some time over the weekend to do all of the piecing for this step. So I'm fully up to date on that one. And I cannot get, I cannot wait to get the instructions number two. Um, I love the colors I picked for this one. All purples. This is going to be mine. All mine. Purple is my favorite color. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with that one. Uh, as far as plans for February, as I said, I'm going to get going on this. So do the cutting, maybe start doing some piecing. Um, I expect that we're going to get the instructions for the plan view quilt along um, towards the end of February, I think. So I'll be working on that. And... Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it as far as quilting projects and what I've been up to with my quilting. All right, so that's my um, quilting in a nutshell in January and some of my plans for February. So thank you for watching. Thanks for coming to my channel. Please, please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you soon.